was talking to my colleagues um, with Lee this morning and asking them what is important today, you know, with, with regard to the opening of the center and our work together. And it, it is sincerity towards the purpose, which to me is about the sun bears. And I too often see with our work in conservation where some of us get um, uh, lured by, you know, being heroes and being martyrs and um, getting funds and fame, you know, from the purpose. And I'm, a, you know, this is a reminder to myself and to all of us that that is losing the plot. And uh, you will see when you see this, the bears in the forest later, it is about them and it is about how we're coexisting together and what has happened to their habitat so that we need this center today. And, you know, we didn't need it in the past, but today we need it and the work, you know, is not easy. Um, in that spirit, I really want to acknowledge some people who are, have been unseen and invisible but have put their blood, sweat and tears into this process. Um, of course, starting with LEAP, the organization that I work for, I have to acknowledge one particular person who has held the, the helm uh, of this project for LEAP, and that is Sylvia Yoris, who's over there. Um, six years of blood, sweat and tears, I can vouch for that. And also other invisible colleagues who are not here today, Heather Pearson, Jackie Young, Winnie Long, also with LEAP, um, between the four of them, including Jess Winder and Sue, who are also here today. We did the financial, legal, board management, administration, staffing, uh, you know, administration of staffing, facilitation with the, the, the government partners, facilitation with the architects um, the, and the consultants, funders, fundraising, so a lot of work that is behind the scenes. Uh, and, but I feel was important. For, for us to arrive here today. Um, also, I have to acknowledge, because um, they have been with us all along, our, our board members in LEAP, Nancy Abraham of the Abraham Foundation, Susan Wallace of Wood Tiger Fund, and um, Caroline Gable of the Shredded Foundation, without whom we wouldn't be able to, to do this work. I also really want to acknowledge Waipak, who um, was the project manager and is not here today because he's left, but he was also very, very instrumental for many years in the project. And, you know, we wouldn't be here today without him. So big hand for one. Um, also, Fazil Yahya, who's DFO of Sandakan, who was, you know, there from the very beginning. Also another unseen um, um, force. And uh, Andrew Xiao, who is the Bill Tech uh, the contractor who's building this last space, who, despite the fact, despite the fact that I told him we don't have enough funds to pay him, and uh, are you agreeable to starting the construction, even though we don't have the money to pay you, he said yes. <laughs> so um, that you know, it, it, we we could get here today because he said yes. Um, another person I'd like to acknowledge personally is my brother Robert Ong, who's over there behind. And uh, he was the one who introduced me to Wong. Otherwise, Wong and I would not have met. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> um, Wong mentioned the thousands and thousands of volunteers. It was a very uh, conscious decision for us to engage with volunteers. A lot of people say volunteers are a pain in the ASS because, you know, they take up a lot of time. But we also feel that there, there are a lot of uh, benefits from having volunteers. And we have 1,000 over international ambassadors of sun bears all over the world because they were here. And two, two people coordinated them also as volunteers, and that's Bob Hartley, who's not here, and Ian Hall, who's at the back, who's also uh, the designer of the SBCC. Um, I think that's it. Uh, YPAC suggested over Facebook that perhaps in honor of um, Gilagob, the, um, our very old rhino that passed a few days ago, we might want to name the rhino bridge the Galagop Bridge because the, 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 um, the wood from that bridge came from, was recycled from the, the uh, um, enclosure that she was in many years ago 
and there's still marks of, I think, of her rubbing against the, the wood. So, you know, perhaps in honor of her uh, passing, we might want to do that. Um, I, and I think uh, with that, I will close. Thank you.